The Arts Council Collection National Partnership Programme is a really unique opportunity for contemporary art galleries to experiment with their national collection. Our motivation actually was that it gave us the opportunity to work in a different way. So we don't have a permanent collection, or what permanent collection we have is uh, looked after by Pendy House. Simple Truths was working with the World Young Parents Project, but in particular the dads. The dads have got an allotment and decided that it would be great to work with the dads on the allotment and had a conversation with Luke about how we could do that. We work with young parents who come from all walks of life. Lots of the young parents we work with, nearly all of the parents we work with experience poverty, lots of mental ill health and on sort of like the Maslow's hierarchy of need, survival is quite high up there so actually hearing their voices is really important when it comes to art and different forms of expression. Wild has really helped me out with my, not capabilities of being a dad, but like my confidence in being a dad. I was very nervous about being, being one, I wasn't sure if I'd do anything right because I didn't really have a male role model growing up. Every time the dad started a session, they would select an artwork from one of the catalogues that reflected how they were feeling in that moment. So it's something that resonated with them. And it could have been actually something that kind of conjured a memory from the past or an aspiration for the future. And it turned out to be a really good tool uh, for opening up conversation, actually, between the youth workers and uh, the young men that they're supporting. One of them, it took him three or four weeks to choose one piece of art. We'd have the books and he just couldn't choose something and the conversation went deeper and deeper and deeper and he said, I can't do it, I don't want to get it wrong. And it was a real pattern in his life of just being told he's wrong all of the time. And of course there is no getting it wrong. And he chose a piece and it ended up being one of the biggest pieces in the exhibition. Never done anything like this before, no. It was, yeah, it was very different. You know. It's nice how it's all come together as well because it doesn't seem like anything's out of place. I love the wild wall that they've done there as well. It's a really nice thing to do with young dads. I've never really been into art like that, but doing this was really amazing. You can look up at that painting and you'll feel better. It just outstanding me when I got to see it. I like it because it's hard to understand if you really imagine it in your brain what it could be. Captured Beauty is a new exhibition where we want to raise the visibility and representation of the ethnically diverse community. That is something that's really rarely achieved in Cornwall and we completely understand that. So this is the exhibition where we can come and feel represented and see people who look like us because we don't get that on the streets of Cornwall. Welcome to the Palace of Culture. Welcome to the Palace of Culture. And welcome to the Palace of Culture at New Lynn Art Gallery. My name's Naomi Frears and I'm at the Palace of Culture. It was a great opportunity for our young people to have access to the Arts Council collection of artworks to, to help curate an exhibition. And there was a lot of discussion and our young people decided they only wanted to represent LGBTQ artists in the exhibition. And it was their exhibition, so that's what we went ahead with. I think everyone chose quite different things and different things resonated with different people which meant in the space we had a really vast array of different art that people were able to relate to no matter what their background was. I think what I got out of the project would have been a sense of community, having everyone in that space around everyone really supportive of what work we'd done and how much work we put in. Being really visible, like the whole point of scene is to be seen, that's why we decided on that name. I was so proud of them, so, so proud of them. Such a good experience for them. To be exposed to those kind of artists, 
People like Francis Bacon and Derek Jarman and David Hockney, Margaret Hambling, but also to, to pique their interest in their own ability to be creative as well. We've learned like, that there's a lot more behind the scenes that goes on to oh, yeah. actually putting on an exhibition. Too much work. Yeah, like, we yeah. definitely thought it was just pick a couple paintings yeah. and put them up on the wall. But it was <laughs> what it was going like, to consist of yeah. like, until we actually have mm. done that. It really made me think about what I want to do when I'm older. And I've actually chosen to do my work experience here, which is really cool. One of the later projects that we developed was a project called What Lies Behind and it was curated by a group of people referred to the gallery through social prescribing programmes. Well the doctor had referred me and I thought to Sylvia and uh, I didn't quite know what to make of it. Looking back now, it's the best thing that ever happened. You're a bit reluctant to start with, weren't you? It, on six some weeks, level. Six yeah. weeks, I never spoke a word. <laughs> and now they couldn't stop me talking after that. <laughs> Because it was connected with art, I just agreed. I just, I just wanted to be connected with something because I was really lost. And I just didn't know how to cope anymore. We had this really interesting sort of process where each individual made a case for why those works should be in the show. And some of the stories and the interpretation of the work were unlike anything I'd ever heard before. I was initially at the Women's Refuge. I didn't know anybody in Penzance. I don't know how to convey how, how much I needed what they offered me. Confidence from the experience and the camaraderie of the group. It's been accepted. It's sort of been accepted in a world you thought you never could belong to. Yeah. I think that's part of it and that sort of belonging to something that you're starting to understand. It's not just art, it's, 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 it's been all encompassing. And I thought if I can do it, mm -hmm. anybody can do it. Yes, that's it, yeah. Something about working with hyper-local communities but national partners that felt really fresh. And it was fresh for the participants and it was fresh for the national partnerships and it was fresh for us as an organisation. We have a real new family purpose and energy. So I think in a way that's kind of set the tone for how we want to work in the future as a gallery.